Hello guys, so I am officially headed to Penhaligans in Creed today and hopefully I get a chance to pick up my assistant on the way and I will take you guys with me because sis is guest. So in the taxi and we are on our way to pick up my assistant first and then we're gonna go to Penhaligans and then Creed. Shout out to Penhaligans for organizing me this taxi. I feel so blessed. So whilst we're in the car, I thought we'd do a quick what's in my bag. This is the Clooney BB from Louis Vuitton and I'm gonna show you guys. I've got my camera holder. We've got some moisturizer. We have a second mask. Oh la la. Some tissues, some snints. We've got some, what's this? Paracetamols. Obviously, my keys. Some allergy relief, some gum, and then, of course, some Carmex. She is here. We are about 30 minutes away from Penhaligans, which is our first stop. And they're being so generous, guys. I'm going to be getting three perfumes and i think it was i think she mentioned like a leather pouch which is super exciting if you've watched any of my fragrance videos i've fallen in love with penhaligans recently i'm obsessed with the yasmin bewitched perfume okay so i'm going to give you guys some tips when you go fragrance shopping the thing you want to do with fragrances is smell it first and you don't want to smell it and buy it there and then on the spot because i've fallen in love with so many perfumes bought it there and then gone home after i sprayed it on myself in the shop I can't smell it anymore. So what you really, really want to do is give the perfume like a good few hours to develop on the skin, see how it goes, see how it mixes with your natural scent, with your clothes. One thing I realized when I went to Paligans uh, earlier this year, before the last lockdown, I went in and I was like, I'm dead set on this fragrance. I've read the profile online. I was like, this is me to a T. It was a Cairo perfume. When I'd actually ended up going in that and I tried all the perfumes, they did me a whole scent profiling. I ended up going with Bewitching Yasmin, which is one of my absolute favorite fragrances. So while she might go into a perfume shop with a particular scent in mind, keep an open mind because you never know what it's gonna be like in real life and what other things that brand has to offer. Side note, why do I look absolutely like Michelin Man whenever I wear ribbed jeans? How is this normal? They're literally my size. This is my first time, I think, vlogging on the street, or at least first time in ages, and I feel really embarrassed. But um, just checked the taxi, and it was saying that it's gonna take us like 18 minutes in the car, or it can take us eight minute walk. So we decided to get out and walk, because unfortunately we're running late, and I don't know about you guys, but I get really bad anxiety when I'm late. So we're gonna get that as soon as you can, Fan Halligan's we're coming. It says it's this way. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Wait, let me show you. It says we're here! Oh, hold on. I think it's there. I think it's around the corner. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, hazelnut leaf, so it's got a freshness to it, okay. and also like that underlying fruitiness. Yeah, it is. But it's a beautiful fragrance. Okay, yes. Cairo. I did the online scent profiling back yeah. when I first was introduced to Pan Halogen, so that's the one I got. You got Cairo? I got Cairo, okay, well, yeah. We'll see if it was the right match. Yeah. So this has rose, lactinum, vanilla, and then sandalwood. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. 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 This is really nice. I do like it. Sometimes the ones that you think you're gonna like, end up not being your favorites and then you'll yeah. end up being pleasantly surprised by something else. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Okay, so we get to pick leather sleeve, I get to put EK there, I get to pick a symbol and a little keychain. So our next stop is Creed. I'm so gassed. 
Who am I for Cree to invite me to their store? But I'm going and they're gifting me a free perfume. So I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna get it for my dad because he doesn't own any Creed and I feel like he's just a Creed kind of guy, you know? So we're looking for outdoor seating. This is not the restaurant that we bought our food from, but we're just gonna really quietly take a seat and hope that no one tells us off. Someone just tell me why we're sat here feeding so anxious that someone's gonna tell us off for sitting here. I'm really sorry, the owner of this place. We just needed a seat for our food. with Adrian. Hi. Thank you so much. We You're ended welcome. up with the Aventus. It's the best. One of the best fragrances in the world. Well, thank you so much, Creed team. We did it. We got the Creed. Now we are getting in the car to go home. Time for our unboxing. So, let's begin with Penhaligons. They were so generous. On the way home, we were searching how much these perfumes are and you know what, genuinely worth it because they're beautiful, but they're very expensive. They're like over 200 pounds. So I got very much spoiled by Penhaligans. Thank you guys. Okay, so first one lucky dip is changing constants. So I was really excited. I already have Bewitching Yasmin from the Portraits collection. And I was like, I hope I go in there. I hope I find one that I like from the portraits because it's nice to like have part of the collection. Now, first of all, look how cute it is. Just hanging off my fingers like this. I love it. I just think this portraits collection just looks so good together. Also, if you can hear construction outside, it's because that's construction outside. So apologies. This one is super interesting. So I smelt it. Guys, I never thought I was like a caramel, vanilla, spicy kind of girl. This is really, really nice. Now, next one, we're gonna do the second portraits one and it's Duchess Rose. Now, I feel like they named this perfume after me. I'm just saying, I'm just kidding. Um, this is again, another one of the portraits ones. Absolutely stunning bottle, really, really heavy. Now this is defined as something that's a bit better for the younger crowd. So I'm a huge fan of musky fragrances. I just think they sit so beautifully on the skin. So this one is obviously got notes of rose in there. It also has the top note of mandarin. And then you have that really beautiful musky finish. It's a very subtle scent. I think if you don't know someone very well, but they're kind of like a young girl, you're gonna go for a fragrance that they're definitely gonna like I would go for Duchess Rose plus the name of it is just so bougie I love it now the final one we got from Penhaligans I want to tell you guys the story for this so we were there doing the scent profiling guys when I say to you I tried about 300 of their perfumes and I kept on like loving some of them but then I'd go back to it and I didn't like it and I just remember asking the lady I was like what's that one over there and she goes no 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 it's a citrus you don't like citrus fragrances I'm not going to show you that one and I was like okay cool we finalized it down to about three and I was walking out to just go for a break whilst they were engraving my leather pouch and I was like I just want to see this one because I just felt like this box really spoke to me like it's kind of Indian it's called Vara and I was like no I feel like it's like got that like Indian thing going on I really want to try it so she goes, all right, go ahead, have a go. Guys, I smelt it and I was just like, bam, this is the one. It was designed for the Maharaja's daughter. And I was like, mind blown. I obviously need that one. We've got quince, rose water, coriander seeds, saffron seeds. So you've got that really, really like opulent saffron, that really rich decadent smell right there. Mixed with the coriander seed, which gives it a little bit of that spiciness. And then you have the rose water, which is just such an elegant, refreshing scent mixed together, guys. This is the winner. And I loved it so much. They do their leather pouches and they do it in two different sizes because the portrait collection is slightly smaller. This I loved so much. I got the leather pouch the exact right size for that. So let me show you guys. So I got EK and I got a little rose on it, as you guys can see. 
I love roses, it's kind of like my iconic thing. And then they gave me a little accessory. So you could pick a key ring to go with it. So I picked this finger. Honestly, I picked it because it's like got my brand colors, which is black and gold, but I just thought it was kind of quirky. Like I always go for the kind of boring option. I don't know why I'm like that, but I thought, you know what? Erin, let's go for the quirky option. So you can put that around the neck of the bottle. And I just thought that was such a cute little touch. Let's move on to Creed. Now this experience, I was gassed. When I got the email, I was like, oh my God. I went into Creed and I have to say shout out to Adrian because Adrian was knowledgeable. He had amazing social skills. He was such a good presenter. Took us downstairs to this little private room and we then got introduced to the Creed collection. And I was like, listen, this is such a great opportunity for me to get a perfume for my dad. So Mr. Singh, if you're watching this, you've already got this perfume because I'm giving it to you tonight, but It's just, it's such an iconic scent. So he used one word, I think it was Melissimus. I don't even know what he said, but basically it's when you get the highest quality of every ingredient. So if that ingredient isn't at its peak in the crop, they will not discontinue, but they will pause production on that particular perfume. Like the Creed family is that rightfully OTT when it comes to their fragrances. Um, but yeah, that is it guys. Um, it was honestly one of the best days. Thank you again to Penhaligons and Creed. Guys, if you want me to do more, vlogs let me know but anyways i love you guys so much make sure to like comment and subscribe here is a virtual hug from me to you and i can't wait to see you in my next video someone tell me why we are sat here someone sat here we're feeding someone tell me that you um you had you 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 could you do 